Thanks, Mary. Fire is a tool used on military lands to maintain training areas, but it also helps create suitable habitat for endangered plants, birds, and animals. Correspondent Jeannie Ryan joins us now with an environmental update. Thanks, Dan. Historically, in a tall grass prairie, fire is a natural thing. Lightning would set off a blaze that could scorch thousands of acres before finally going out. And later, Native Americans would intentionally set similar fires. Today, environmental experts on Fort Riley recreate those fires through prescribed burns. Flames crackle and heat rises in waves as the dry, tall grass prairie ignites on Fort Riley, Kansas. Within an hour, several hundred acres turn into charred, smoking land. This is John Mark. Environmental experts on the installation use prescribed burning to maintain a good cover for military training scenarios and reduce the amount of dry vegetation that could fan a wildfire set off by weapons fire. These grasses, they die as they uh, get a frost in the fall and they build up over several years, so there's many tons of fuel this very fine fuel and when it erupts if they're training or something uh, we can get some very severe fire that can damage equipment and soldiers. Prescribed burning of an area helps bring it back to an early stage of development. This is very helpful to prairie wildlife and some of the endangered birds on Fort Riley which prefer young plants and grasses. Crews set fires when the weather is moderate, so the blaze is more predictable and easier to control. Using handheld and vehicle-mounted drip torches, they start with a backfire on the downwind side of the burn area. So that the fire is actually burning into the wind, and it, it, it moves at a pretty slow rate, but what that does is it keeps the head fire from coming down and uh, racing across, and what will happen is if it, if it comes across too fast, it'll jump the road, and they'll get into an area that you don't want to burn. The fire crews remain constantly vigilant, making sure the flames stay within the designated area and don't spread out of control. They even use these prescribed burns as a training tool to battle real wildfires. The environmental experts on Fort Riley burn any given area once every two to four years. Sometimes, small arms munitions on the ranges cook off during a prescribed burn, but the fire crews say the risk to them is minimal. Courtney, back to you.